this morning. I stand before you as a, as a pastor, as a preacher, as one who's been called to share the gospel. My client is Jesus Christ. He's guilty of a lot of things. He's a guilty of healing folks. He's guilty of making a difference in people's lives. He's guilty of loving people that the world thought were unlovable. He's guilty of starting a movement that 2,000 years ago changed the world. He's guilty of all those things. The question this morning for us is what are we guilty of? If we were brought the little boy today, would our faith be sufficient to help that father's unbelief? Jesus can do all things through those who believe. Faith is not dictating the response to God. Peter's early attempt to talk Jesus out of suffering falls into the category of dictating divine action. Jesus doesn't want, Peter doesn't want Jesus to suffer. Faith means learning to think as God does and not according to human standards. For us to believe beyond a reasonable doubt, we cannot think as the world thinks, but we must think as God thinks. What are we guilty of? Who's going to believe in Christ today because of something we do? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our hymn of celebration this morning, How Firm a Foundation, hymn number 529. Will you stand as we sing?
Now, there's a reason I'm a preacher and not a lawyer. Partly, I couldn't memorize all that case law and, and work, work that hard um, to, to learn all that. But more importantly was, there are men and women, as we've said, that are created to do some things and men and women that are created to do others. God called me to preach and to teach. And so this morning, I call you alongside me to think about Christ, to think about the preponderance of the evidence, to think about believing beyond a reasonable doubt, and the fact that no matter what we believe, it only matters what we can prove. What ways this week will we prove to the world that Christ lives and that Christ makes a difference in our lives and the lives of those around us? That is our challenge this week as we go out into the world in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. And all God's family said, amen.